a little bird told me that you have conducted thousands of podcast interviews, right? Thousands, crazy. Yeah, we're, we're at around 2000 interviews. Maybe you can share a little bit, you know, what to do and what not to do or something where you feel like it's that's very valuable. I think that the answer to that really depends on what your goal with the podcast is. And so I'll, I'll talk about the evolution of my podcast. At first, my podcast was to connect with as many people as possible. And honestly, it was for like fun because my business, I think I started the podcast five years ago. And at that point, Authors Unite, my publishing company was pretty much kind of running on its own without me having to be so involved. So I had all this free time and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll start the podcast. That's how I got up to so many shows is I would do like, no lie, like 20 episodes in a day. I would do like 10 to 20 minute, very short episodes. And I would reach out to people on LinkedIn and other like Instagram DM. I literally was interviewing anyone and everyone. Like anybody who wants to come on, come on. I just want to connect and have fun and do a short interview. That was very useful. Uh, for meeting a lot of people and getting a lot of clients. I would interview those 20 people and then like five of them the next week would be like, oh, I didn't realize you run this other thing, Authors Unite. I want to write a book. Can we talk? Right. So that was like a good volume play and helped get clients. And there was no advertising money. How I do it now, though, because I'll tell you, it was around the thousandth episode. I woke up and I realized I just to be straight up like I hated it. <laughs> I was asking the same questions to every person and it became so robotic and like very surface level, I felt because it was so focused on just like quick connect, get a client. And then I realized I was like, oh, that's not why I really want to do this. I actually want to deeply connect with people and learn from them and hear their story. So now the way I do it is I do two podcasts a week and they're each an hour long. Sometimes I get a client from it, but that's not the goal at all. It's really just like, I'm very particular with who I interview and it's more about like the most interesting people to me and what I want to learn. And that's more fulfilling, less profitable, I guess, but more fulfilling. You know what I mean? It depends on the goal of your podcast.